Hey guys, Ogs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. Just when you think that we, Chelsea fans, survived another transfer window without signing any senior player and we should just go on vacation, relax, recharge and come back to try to fight for the second part of the season. Guess what? Boom! Breaking news. The Premier League decided to extend the summer transfer window for one more month. Wow! That means one more month of pain and suffering for Chelsea fans all over the world. We don't deserve this. This is not fair for us. I know it might be a good thing for other clubs, but for Chelsea fans, we always wait for the last minute, the last second before making some deals. And most of the time we don't even sign anybody. So what even the point of wasting all this time and not signing anybody? Anyways, guys, jokes aside, I'm not happy about it because the Premier League took a smart decision to close the window before the start of the season. I thought it was a good decision and other leagues were going to follow the Premier League because we are the best in the world. So sooner or later, everybody else were going to follow the Premier League and close the window earlier instead of extending it. But there is a lot of money involved in the transfer window and it was always going to be difficult for the Premier League not to comply to the big boys. You know what I mean? It's about money, it's about personal interest, it's about commercial and all that it has nothing to do with common sense. And I'm not going to be surprised in the future if the transfer window is completely suspended and we have to buy and sell players all the time because it's good for business. So it is what it is and nothing I can do about it. It's sad to see how football is losing its soul because of money, because of interest. Nothing you can do about it. You have to comply to the big organizations because money talk, money rules. Sad. For my fellow Chelsea fans out there, I will advise you to see your doctor get your medication ready because the summer transfer window is going to be very very long and i won't be surprised to see some deals go until the last second of the window that means september the first wow jadon sancho timo Werner, musa dembele and other big names that uh, supposedly we are after it's not going to be easy. Euros are coming in June and we all know that uh, when there is an international tournament like this, agent and clubs always wait until the end of the tournament so they can add few more zeros on top of uh, the asking price. So I'm not going to be surprised to see Jadon Sancho cost maybe 200 million or plus. And the war will continue until the last day of the window. Be patient and probably just forget about the whole window and wait until the last day. There we go, guys. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Do you think it's a good thing to extend the transfer window and why? Leave your comment in the description down below. Be cool like N'Golo Kante and always think outside the box.